Hello and welcome to abuzzandaflutter.co.uk, the very best place for wildlife friendly plants and information. The other day we did a video and it was showing you the best of the flowers that we have right now in bloom for attracting pollinators. Well we wanted to go one better and we thought that we would look at each plant more specifically and in, tonight we are going to be looking at Centranthus, otherwise more commonly known as Valerian. There's the white form that we do which is Alba and there's Ruba which is a red or pink variety. For all intents and purposes they are pretty much exactly the same bar in colour. Both grow to about two foot high and wide or 60 centimetres high and wide. They are extremely drought tolerant once they are watered in. On a note with that, if you were to buy this plant and put it in, just because something's drought tolerant, please don't think that that means not watering it in. You have to water any plant that you buy, I would say for a good two, three, four weeks um, before they get established, because uh, the shock of obviously coming from the plot into a ground is a bit much for some. But keep these watered and then once you've done that, I would be very, very surprised if you ever need to water these again. These plants are so hardy that you will often find them growing out of um, cracks and crevices in things like cobbled or pebbled walls. And this plant is extremely good for self-seeding. Now when I say extremely good for self-seeding, I do want to make it clear that what I don't mean is that it becomes an invasive weed. It's very easy to pull out. There are no problems with this taking over. Now from the moth point of view, this is an exceptional plant. Why? One, the white form for me is slightly better because at night, as the sun begins to go down, the white becomes almost iridescent. It becomes like a homing beacon for moths. And it's basically saying, here I am, pollinate me. And then as if that weren't enough already, it gives off this beautiful scent. The scent itself is nice in the daytime, but it is even better at night. So if you were sat out in your garden having your coffee or having your cup of tea, then this is an absolutely brilliant plant to have planted in a large swathe where you can watch the beautiful, beautiful moths come in. And I have seen lots of pictures of this attracting the uh, elephant hawk moth and the um, hummingbird hawk moth. I have to say I've never been able to attract one in my garden. It's something I would absolutely love to attract. But honestly, this is a plant that you just simply cannot go wrong with. It's almost bomb proof and it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful plant. At the moment, don't forget that you can share, um, save 20% on our website. Just simply visit us at www.abuzzandaflutter.co.uk and enter THANKS20 at the checkout to receive that 20% off. And don't forget, if you like our videos, then please do like, comment and do subscribe to us. Most importantly, more than anything else, please share this video. This is what gets us out there. This is what increases awareness and helps to um, raise the knowledge that our wildlife really, really is struggling and it really does need our help. So please come on over again to www.abuzzandaflutter.co.uk. Make sure you put thanks 20 in to get your 20% off. And most of all, remember, together we're better. Let's create a buzz. Bye-bye.